We have new Dino Ruffian cards today. Now, I did test with the deck. The deck seems okay, but in my opinion, it's still the same. The deck is still kind of just bad. Now, in this art, it does tease that we're getting another monster, most likely, because usually all the fusions have a monster to go and coincide with it, which I think it's going to be this one right in the middle, because we have seen left and right. But let's see what we have. We have Dino Ruffia, Rextrum, and it is a level 8 dark dinosaur fusion effect with 3,000 attacks, 0 defense. One Dino Ruff or Dino for it, Dino Fia, Dino? Yeah, Dino Fia fusion monster, and one Dino, Dino Fia monster. So you need a fusion monster and a normal monster from the archetype. That's actually fine. You can use the second or third effect of this card's name once per turn each. Monsters your opponent controls with attack equal or higher than your life points cannot activate their effect. This is an interesting floodgate already. Quick effect, pay half your life points. Until the end of this turn, the attack of all monsters your opponent controls become equal to your life points. If this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you could special summon one level 6 or Dino via monster from your graveyard. So, overall, this is a very good fusion for the deck. With the little hefty cost, I definitely think it's worth it to at least run one or two. But we have Dino via Frenzy as well. It is a normal trap, and you can only use activate a card with this card's name once per turn. First effect during your opponent's main phase, pay half your life points. Fusion summon one Dino Ruffian, Dino Ruffia, fusion monster from your extra deck using one monster from your deck and one monster from your extra deck. So about that, this might be a two of now because this is pretty good as you use monsters from your extra deck and deck. When your opponent activates a card or effect while well, your life points are 2,000 or less, you can banish this card from your graveyard, you take no damage from your opponent's card effects this turn. Okay, so overall this support. This support is good, but the deck in my opinion is still pretty weak as they kind of almost have everything, they're just missing a few cards. I hope we get that third monster. If not, I'm going to be pondering that of what it could be. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. I hope you guys did enjoy. And see you guys in the next video.